Hey, it's Stevie GB here, and it's time for Stevie Rocks. Hey, kids, rock and roll, rock on. Album number 22 at 100 albums. My favorite albums are albums that I love to listen to and never get sick of. Today, it's Nick Lowe. Yesterday was Elvis Costello. Why not go right into Nick Lowe? Nick Lowe was uh, with a band called Brinsley Schwartz, which was like a British Buffalo Springfield, for the lack of a better description. Uh, they never went anywhere. They had a couple of hits. He was what they called in the record business in the UK, a stiff, which means they put out records and they never went anywhere. There were no hits, no hits. They were stiffs. So that's why they started stiff records. And Nick Lowe was like the perfect stiff because he was so talented, such a great songwriter, such a brilliant musician, yet nobody cared. So his first song on stiff one, so it goes which was a great opening to the stiff catalog because it explained the whole message of the record label, right? And loved it, loved it. Then he started producing Elvis Costello's albums, finally came out with his own album in England called Jesus of Cool. He always had cool titles. Jesus of Cool, fantastic pop record, pure pop. And then in the, U in the U.S., the same album was called Pure Pop for Now People, another great title. They couldn't handle Jesus in the title, so that's why they changed it. And uh, it's a great album. It's so fun. It's a pop album. It's as good as most of everything. That, it was like the Beatles' rubber soul with an edge because he always had those little, Mary Provis did not look her best about an old silent film star who died in her apartment because she was done with her career. Nobody cared about her anymore. And her dogs ate her dead body. It was in the news, and he wrote a song about it. Uh, it's hilarious, but he did it in a pop. Mary Provis did not look her best. The day the cops bunched into her lonely nest. In that cheap hotel up on Hollywood West, July 29. She was lying there for two or three weeks. The neighbors said they never heard her squeak. And those hungry eyes that could not speak said even little doggies have got to eat. She was a winner that became the doggies' dinner. She never meant that much to me. Whoa, poor Marie. You get it? It was like Beach Boys. It was, it was, um, it was the Beatles. It was pop. It was really good, solid pop music with hooks galore. This album should have been number one. It went nowhere. He remained a stiff. Uh, but it's a great album. So it goes. Little uh, little Hitler. Um, no reason. 36 inches high. The U.S. version has Roller Show, a song about the Bay City Rollers. Hilarious. Uh, they called it Rock. It's a rock pile is in there. We got Dave Edmonds in there. We got members of The Rumor from Grant Parker's band in there. We got Pete Thomas from The Attractions drummer in there. It, it's just it's just a wonderful, wonderful piece of music. And Nick went on to make a lot of great albums. I've seen him in concert four times. He's fantastic. He's fantastic. Always been a big Nick Lowe fan. Loved the guy to death. Never got where he should be in the pop charts. And I, and I, and I still, to this day, I don't get it. He's funny. All Men Are Liars is on his album, Party of One. Great, great song. Uh, their words are worth no more than worn out tires. Get it to Nick Lowe. You will not be disappointed. Back in the day when I worked at Record World, I used to tell people, if you like the Beatles, you'll love Nick Lowe. I turned a few people on and none of them came back and complained. In fact, a few of them came back and said, this guy's fantastic. Why isn't he number one on the charts? A1 on the jukebox and no way. On the charts. That's actually Dave Edmonds, but you can tell there's a Nick Lowe influence in there. All righty. Thank you very much. Stevie Rock. See you tomorrow.